Um, I'm just showing here, introducing to the folks here. This is the Stanton STR8150. It has a straight tone arm. Uh, Stanton's been in the audio, professional audio business for a long time. And they've been at the turntables for a few years now, but back in the day in the 80s, Stantons were the ones that produced the best cartridges uh, for the turntables, mainly for the Technics 1200. This is a Technics 1200 Mark 3D, which is, uh, has been discontinued, and Technics has discontinued 1200s, period. So the only thing Technics will be producing now are headphones. So um, the Technics made turntables. This turntable here uh, came out right around 95. I um, but I've been messing with 1200 since 1984. So for 27 years, I've been messing with 1200s. Uh, I've been dealing with 1200s. Uh, my first set of 1200s actually had that I owned myself was in 1986. However, before then, I was just using uh, different 1200s at uh, various clubs, uh, like the like the rink skating rink that was used to be over in, uh, off of Wake Forest Road in Raleigh. And so. Um, so just to give you an example, you have 1200 here. It's start and stop features. It's uh, the torque. Right, 1.7 grams of torque. Stopping speed is okay. The braking speed is nice. Start and stop is, is nice. Um, this record here is a, a battle record that DJs use to cut and scratch with. And um, it's the, everybody knows this tune. You know, with the start and stop button, how it works on the 1200, you see how it stops, there's a little drag. Here, the Staten SCR8150, start and stop is pretty instantaneous. I mean, once you, the break, you can set the break, and uh, you can set the break to stop on beat, or you can set it and stop it. Drag.
Now here I'm going to ma manipulate the SCR8 150. Uh, what's different between the 1200 and the SCR8 150? You have three speeds. You have 33, 45, and 78 RPMs. And that's something to play with. Also on the SCR8 150, uh, you know most DJs uh, turn the turntables sideways. Back in the 80s, we used to have them the traditional way where the turntables facing you, uh, facing you actually. And uh, but they turn it sideways so their hands won't hit the, hit the needles as they're going back to back with their tricks and whatnot. But what Stan has done, a nice innovative feature, is they added a start stop button on the corner, the back corner. So as you turn the one turn the turntable sideways, they're able to stop and start the record. Um, from different sides, they can stop, stop. Another feature, the speed. I can play in it. 33, 45, 33, 78. Another feature the 1200 doesn't have is a nice reverse. You still able to manipulate the speed. Stop. Four. Right. Also, it has uh, three pitch variations here from 8%, 25%, 50%. So I can slow it down here at 8%, speed it up. 25%, go faster. Down. 50%. Now I can just play with it. Another feature about the SCR8 150, SCR8, straight, with a straight tone arm. The tone arm has a space age look and it's pretty sturdy. Um, this is sturdy at the 1200, but with a straight tone arm, it enables the uh, scratcher or battle mixer, turntablist to scratch and just about brutalize the record without the needle jump. So one can actually set up the tone off to where the, the thing will actually won't jump. I mean, they can just, just kill the record and play on and play on. So I got another SCR 8150 that's on order from Sam Mash, thanks to uh, Samuel Lemire. And um, 
This one was awesome. I love it. Would I trade in 1200 for it? Yes, I would. Hey, you had the 1200 loyalists out there that would call me crazy and cuss me out. You know, he has loyalists. You want to be, they want to be some loyalists, but uh, and it's still pretty much majority of the nightclubs will have 1200s in them. So, um, but me personally, I'm on the STR 150. <laughs> To boot camp, uh, I was supposed to go. They, they assigned me to uh, ammunition ship in New Jersey, okay. and um, that didn't really that didn't happen. I didn't get that post because I missed up in the school. They had a, a, a advanced training school afterwards on the other side of boot camp. Three days in the morning. So I missed up in the school, and they did what it, people seem as punishment as sending me to the fleet. Yeah, not having a particular job assignment, you know what I'm saying? So I wound up in Norfolk, Virginia. And um, I was on the ship and when I, I, I come to, I just happened to meet some brothers that had books. Because being on a ship and being out the sea is like being in jail. Yeah. You know, you have 18 hour work days. And if you weren't writing your girl or working out or working, or uh, you're a reader. And that's what we're doing, reading. Books Brothers got, because uh, I think at the time you had a little, there was a little paper, paper that you bought yeah. books from. Yeah. Yes, sir. Black books. Yes, sir. I can't remember the exact title, but that's how I got books. And through you, and brothers would be reading, and we sit and we talk. So that's how we did it. We couldn't really do it. You know what I'm saying? And I was introduced, that's how I came into uh, uh, Islam. Mainly through the teaching of yes, with the help of you, of course. You see what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And uh, to this day, um, I was trying, I was hoping that my brother would come out one day. I'm a biological brother, but Stanley Best. But we're going to have to make some kind of connection. This brother is a genealogist, historian slash genealogist. But he has just, he just has not met the right people. And, um, but once he does, it's gonna be like an explosion. Okay, okay. Because this brother is so good. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Oh, um, yeah, I'm about to go to my battery. Oh, yes. Uh, oh, yes.
Sugar Ray fight.